Hi guys, and welcome to another episode of Disney Watch. We are on the Pixar sense section still. And this time, I have just a double feature for you guys. The first of which is Piper. Their, two, or their 2015 shore, or 2016 shore. So here we go. A flock of sandpiper hunt for food at, at a seashore running to peck at the sand when the wave recedes and taking flight when it comes in. One baby named Piper is motivated by her mum to be part of the flock and get meals. However, she fails to pull away in time and is soaking wet through the incoming surf. The incident leaves Piper terrified of the water. She refuses to depart the nest, but soon notices a team of hermit crabs digging into the sand to find deeper food and keep from being buffeted by the aid of the tide. By copying their behaviour, Piper begins to see the beauty of the underwater world and becomes knowledgeable at discovering meals for the flock, therefore overcoming her fears and insecurities. So, that's a nice little message that sends there. Basically, about facing your fears head on to overcome them. Well done, Pixar. Well, I've not actually seen the short, so I can't actually give you my opinion of it, guys. However, now, we go into Finding Dory, which was Pixar's 2016 sequel to Finding Nemo. So, obviously, Dory the Regal Blue Tang gets separated from her parents, Jenny and Charlie, as a child. As she grows up, Dory attempts to search for them, but gradually forgets them due to her short-term memory loss. Later, she joins Marlin the Clownfish looking for Nemo. And then, really, the whole film after that takes place one year after that, Dory is now living with them on their reef and then one day she has a flashback and remembers her parents and decides to go and look for them. Getting lost in the process, of course, uh, mm -hmm. leading Marlin and Nemo to search the ocean for her. So, yeah, basically... A lot of you are going to say it's Finding Nemo all over again, but with the female fish. And... Wow. Discussions of a sequel began in June 2016, as Stanton did not deny its possibility due of the introduction of new characters, much like Toy Story franchise as guides for how to expand a world through sequels. So. Well, here's my opinion anyway. And, well, I thought it was a decent, uh, good, one of Pixar's best sequels. Yeah, you said it. That's my, you heard it. That's my opinion. I don't care what you think. But if you would care to share your opinion, don't let it be a sore one in the comments below. And I will now tell you that in the next episode, Up For Talks There will be
Pixar's 2017 offerings of cards free and... Well, just the 2017 offerings then, okay. So until then, thanks for watching Feel the Magic.